Thank you for joining me today. My name is Nichelle Anderson. I'm your host for my podcast show, Nichelle Anderson Short Stories and Beyond. So today will be the bonus two for my special I'm doing, kicking off my return entitled Future Series of Nahar and Princess Aminya. So if you're just joining me now, this particular podcast is focusing on my passion of writing, uh, particularly uh, short stories and longer stories, but <laughs> but to uh, have this uh, situated in a podcast show that I started two years ago, and this would be my third year. This is mostly uh, focusing on my book, Mitch Ram, that I turned into a theatrical production. I did like a short, independent short film. I did a webisode um, on that, uh, season one actually. <laughs> um, and then from there, I had went and did another film, so... But at any rate, I did that and we went to stage about two times and then we were in the process to return the stage play back, which is the prestige return of Malay stage play. We are in the prep phase now. Once I'm ready to officially announce those dates, I will let you know. So we have been working on that for a while. And when that comes to fruition, I will announce that so you can support that part of my project. And Malay is basically based on ancient Egypt and if you haven't read my book, if you have, you kind of get the gist of it, of, of the whole foundation of the book. It's basically the value of choice, doing the process of you falling in love, right, you love. And then I do write other short stories, other themes. That's why the title of my podcast is And Beyond. Beyond from that point of mole, <laughs> I have do other short stories that I rolled out as a, another line of, of storytelling. And I do have plans to bring another, a modern day action. Actually, I just didn't get a chance to do to start that this summer since I was doing catch up because um, I had rolled out uh, in the Atlantis Atlantis and then I recapped on, Mo, on uh, Mahogany which took some time away of focusing on some other things but I did get a good response when I focused on those two productions earlier this year for season two so at any rate thank you so much for joining me today let me cover some housekeeping things again um, I mentioned it in my premiere show my return back earlier this month regarding a big announcement I'm just working on a couple of things to tighten it all up there and then I will make my announcement you either would get like a separate release podcast of a bonus or doing my usually release since again like I announced last year that I'm going to start having a bi-weekly release on both of my podcast shows I have two separate you know podcast shows if you're new to my my podcast here so I decided to do bi-weekly so it be basically every other Monday at 10 o'clock Eastern time. I think it's at least one month or maybe two months. I take that back that I noticed that it's like five weeks or something like that. However it flows, it would be probably an actual extra week. I have to pass by before you get another one. Nonetheless, I do have plans to write every time I release a podcast, I will announce the next date that I'm releasing it to make sure you on par. Now, easy way you could do this is just go ahead and subscribe to my podcast through one of your preferred distributors for your podcast and that way when it released you get it but you know it's going to be on Monday you know it's going to be about 10 o'clock and then you know it's going to be at least two times a month okay all right so for this one the next going forward since I'm releasing one today the next one will be released on October the 7th is what I got okay and again I will have these dates on mole.com as well as in the description of this podcast and on my social media meaning that if you haven't um, connected with me on social media please do I'm on Twitter and you could also connect with Mole Production on Facebook and there and that production uh, Facebook I'm sorry Twitter page as well let's go ahead and get started with the next thing I want to cover here okay chapter notes I mentioned at last my last release early this month I noticed when I was on summer I like to go and kind of see it through the eyes of you know the people that are following me fans what have you customers whatever you know it's good to see through their eyes what their experience is and I thought that when I do the chapter notes it's time stamps through this uh, speaker platform that everybody can be able to see it but I can see where other people are getting my are able to download or play but they're doing it by different types of you know player not by speaker and if that's the case I'm not really sure at least I could not see how you could see the chapter notes and the time stamps and I've been doing that since last year <laughs> If you do not download Spreaker app, or definitely sign up to be a member. It is free. To get the my podcast releases through Spreaker, you're not going to see those chapter notes. 
which is like man I did all that work so at any rate I'm making sure that I'm putting it in the description part I thought that's what this, the platform that I was doing but it just is just not it's not being in there if you're not looking at through Spreaker so I'm also having that in the YouTube channel so from this this summer past 2019 summer break going forward to now and onward you will see the chapter notes or times time stamps in the description part of this of each podcast and you if and by the way I want to shout out to Mole YouTube if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel on Mole please do that it's youtube.com forward slash Mole I do have plans to go back for both season one and season two to manually add those timestamps in there if you haven't already again please subscribe to my Mole I need to go out there and really advertise that that channel to get my increase my views I don't I use this I just use it as like a, a database when I put on my videos there it is organized for the most I can possibly get that to do but I really need to, to work on that YouTube and that's my, my to-do list but nonetheless I am working those timestamps so rest assured you will be able to go back and able to have those timestamps there if you want to jump ahead okay all right another thing I want to talk about just to kind of what my usual my premium content doing a special you know what y'all been getting free bonuses my full short stories since heck was it since well since the whole summer and <laughs> and so I'm going to continue to do that at least to November and there's something else I'm going to start doing this show here so when I do not do the bonuses I'm doing like clip snippets clip snippets is where you get part of the short story to get the full you have to become a patron member that's my little platform there and by doing that you get the full short and that direct link to my page will be provided in the description now I also want to talk about the commercial ads I mentioned that early this month I think we're going to continue to mention it so with Spreaker they have this platform where it can be monetized so you able to attract advertisers so I am allowing it advertisers to advertise on the be- at the beginning of my show and at the end so when you do play it or what have you downloaded whatever and you play it and listen to it listen to the whole thing that way it does kick back to me of course I have to you know share that with Spreaker with everybody but still enough I get some of it and so just listen to the ad okay if you tired listen and get on your nerves hey you know you can put it on low put the volume on low okay all right that's a wonderful way to support my podcast show best way I'm doing these bonuses for you because if you like it then you just continue to like it and continue to share it and continue to support it you hear me it's uh yeah I don't have it in the middle because I feel like I really don't want to do that where I'm in the middle of talking or what have you or I'm in the process of getting into the story and it's a commercial coming out what's the best time to do it right when you listen to those commercial ads just know that by listening through the whole thing or letting it play out I know you want to get to the content <laughs> and I'm thankful for that but going through it's just like the television shows pay for those shows that we watch on television they say well, we got to go in and take a break um, for the advertisers I'll tell you what they need to say so we can pay for the show well, it's the same thing with just podcast okay so think about that when those commercials commercials come on on my podcast show all right the other thing I announced I was happy to announce that I was working on that during the summer was my merchandise shop okay and I have connected with cafe press all right and so I have a merchandise now that you can help to support the podcast it officially launched on my premiere return on September the 9th and I have one for Mole the you know the official production of Mole which most of those stories write about and you know, let it take root and grow is here on this podcast show I also got a ca- uh, merchandise for this podcast show Nichelle Anderson short stories and beyond I'm gonna have those links in the description uh, section here of the podcast I'm definitely gonna promote it on my social media if you haven't seen it already and it definitely the links would be on mole.com as well as the social social media like Facebook. So another way you can help support. You don't want to be a patron mama? Fine. Okay. The easiest thing is what? Listen to those commercial ads that are uh, those advertisers. Oh, uh, that's attached to my show in the beginning and the end. Second, the cafe shop. Going to get you some merchandise. Okay. If you like it, wear it. <laughs> yeah, cafepress.com forward slash mole or cafepress.com forward slash Nichelle Anderson short stories and beyond and help a sister, okay? All right, the other thing, let's see, I talked about that. Well, I guess that's basically it right now. Let's go ahead and move forward. Let's talk about some highlights, okay? What we talked about, the last release. And that was, again, this future series of Nahar and Princess Samia. I wanted to just focus on them. I felt, especially with Nahar, I felt to kind of really focus on that part. 
Once the kings come on the scene, and I'm talking about King Dama, King Danielle, he's struggling for attention, okay? <laughs> right, it just came through to kind of focus on him. The last episode, we get a glimpse. Finally, the, the one that I went with to introduce them, Nahara and Aminya, in this podcast timeline is to, I guess the moment, and I'm not going to go too much into it because you know I'm going to do a director clip notes where I could talk more about it, but it just came through of him showing her something. And if you got my book, the very first page, and again, it was so many visions and so many um, images that I saw of which one to write. And the only way that I would organize all that was coming through was just to sit down and write it. And that was the first scene in chapter one. What came really strong when I started typing chapter one, and then I just knew what else I had to write. I'm talking about my book, Mitzram. It was him wanting to take her someplace, wanting to show her someplace. So it kind of really kind of melt my heart when I was writing fast forward this part, this future series on a podcast show, right? Because I was that book like a long time ago, like two decades ago. And here it is. And that scene just kind of came through and it kind of connected, right? That it was always like that in the beginning. He was always wanting to take her and show her things. And I guess that moment was showing me as well. I was showing you that moment where that was like the really beginning of him realizing that he can give her something that at least at that time, no one else could, right? That to show her different things that she might not have access to on a strict protocol type lifestyle living in the palace. And it's going to continue to increase because again, in the book, he come up with a lot of resources and a lot of connections and it's beyond his father of his role. But anyway, that was just a special moment. So I do encourage you to go back and read it. It is the fourth short. So, but anyway, for this highlight, I kind of jumped ahead of myself, but for this highlight, we're going to focus is on bonus number two where we will take a glimpse of an occasion with Nahar something happened at the mystery school of thought now how it came through in the book and even now I this is different layers of exposure to knowledge elder Tahib is definitely the head like teacher or what have you students or children of a war type establishment or what have you they have different types of knowledge that are giving to them so they are taught like at a certain time of, a, of the day and then you have the other ones that can afford in which Nahar definitely could afford by far from his father schooling as well but it's done at a different time and so that's where you get last time I was an episode where Nahar where Princess Aminia was going first with some other walls and because everybody came during a time everybody wanted to be taught in Egypt that was like the, the main hub at a particular time of this story of humanity right Today, we're going to focus on something where school is over or something like that. They're schooling for that day and something happened and she wants to to focus on that, which he was trying to back and didn't really want to deal with it. Last, to recap, basically for that bonus, first release, bonus one of this series, future series of Nahar and Princess Semenya is where she and him shared a special moment talking and seeing something where they were introduced of these mystics and mystics is another way of a theology or a school of thought of higher intellect and that could be astrology or science and so forth but it's something that's going on that they heard the lecture of maybe by Elder Tahib but never really saw something what he was trying to describe to the students and they actually saw something that could reflect back to what they were learning actually seeing it now I know I'm kind of talking my encode is because I can't tell you too much yet at any rate let's go ahead and get this started let's begin for this week of my podcast show season three for 2019 2020 Nichelle Anderson short stories and beyond for the future series featuring Nahar and Princess Amina bonus two entitled A new moment to remember. Opening scene. Two stars of time ago, we see Nahar assisting the Theops under the leadership of his father, Ezra, after his schooling of the Mystery School of Thought. 
It was in the later evening on the Eskar room adjoined to the royal palace that we see Nahar stacking papyrus sheets of of writings to be sorted in the tombs of books. Nahar was disturbed by what happened earlier in his studies at the Mystery School of Thought, and he hurriedly to leave as soon as he was dismissed by Elder Tahib. He did not want to stay behind to talk with his friends, and instead came to the Eskar room and filtered through his thoughts deeply within of his disturbance. He wanted to push down his feelings as before and not deal with them. A few moments later, suddenly he could feel something had changed in the room. He turned around and he saw the Thebes of males that was under the rule leadership of his father continue to work amongst them without noticing what he felt that felt different. He turned around and then he noticed what it was. It was Princess Aminia with two royal female attendants and two guards behind her. They arrived at the entrance of the door of the Aska room. Everyone then nodded before the princess as she made her raid to Naha. In the attempt to not expose his uncomfortable feelings about the situation earlier of the Abspu moment, Naha nodded and then started back to continue to stack the books to be sorted accordingly to his father's rule of position of acknowledgement of the truth of each papyrus stack. Princess Amenia walked up to stand on the opposite side of a long stone table across from Naha. She started to reach for one of the papyrus, then paper sheet and attempted to sort it. She quickly held up her hand that she could do it herself as she noticed one of her female attendants tried to come over to assist. Princess Amelia shook her head and nodded to let her continue as she wanted to talk to Naha without any disturbance and anybody listening closely. They were still young of age. Still now, without looking up at him, she spoke with concern and calmness. I wanted to speak with great intent of your courage. His eyes widened with shock as he closed one of the smaller tablets he was arranging on the table across from her. Then he spoke. Nahar said, How so you think this of me? She looked down a bit nervous and then back at Nahar. It is Shahan. I have learned from my father, Nahar interjected in a more sharp and spoken tone but a low voice as he continued to stand across from Princess Aminia. I would have walked across the Nan tomb. I just wanted to be sure if it mattered. And you spoke to King Malan of what Shahan challenged of me? Princess Aminia responded, Arshe, Shahan is mostly of words that fall short they only want to, at his will, challenge to their father. As my father mentioned, his genealogy ties are to Sanel, the ones deep of the same, of that tribe. She quickly looked over to Naha and then back in front of her, stacking more papyrus sheets of paper in the right order. Naha nodded and smiled briefly. Then he said, I have seen for what you speak of him. Princess Amiya nodded. You have shown your strength of resistance. It is a good thing to behold, Naha. She did not look at him at that moment. She continued to file the papers. Naha nodded as the words of encouragement soothed his soul forward. Nahar felt a little bit calmer as he walked around the table and stood next to Princess Aminia, and they continued to stack the papers and work together in unison in the order according to the protocol that was needed. Then Nahar spoke again that only she could hear. In a new day it shall be so. Princess Samia started back again, placing the book near the papers to start sorting it according to the others, in order as best as she could. And some of the sorting 
fell out and was not in place as it should have been, and they both laughed a bit as Nahar assisted to place it correctly, for they both knew that his father Ezra would not take slight of such an unfollowed protocol. Princess Amir decided to leave, as she then felt Nahar's mood was uplifted. Before she turned around to leave, she smiled to say to him, You know, my mother often said, Our moments of challenge proves how much strength we have to live more bolder than before. She then turned to leave the Askar room as her attendants followed. Nahar thought of the wise words spoken from Princess Aminya of her mother, Queen Hagar, soothed his soul, turned around. It was a little more interest what he was doing as he continued to assist the Theops there, male's assistant to his father, in organizing the stacks of papers, sheets of witting knowledge, and to the tombs of ancients. Insane.